All right, Shalom. We're going to start by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakudash, Yahweh, being a true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, being the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, and Chakudash, being the Holy Spirit that speaks through us so that we can divide this word correctly and directly, Shalom, meaning peace. We also want to give double honors to the pastor and others of Great Millstone. We want to say Shalom to the whole elect out there pushing this word in truth. And in sincerity, striving their best to do what's right in the eyes of the Lord. But in this lesson, we're just going to go into how the world is for us, right? This world that we're currently living in, right, is for the Israelites, right? The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And uh, I was just going through a couple pictures on uh, on my on the internet, just going through different things, right? And I see certain things within, the, uh, within these pictures, right? And uh, it reminds me of the kingdom. Right, and uh, this was an example of that right there. You can see on my screen, but this world, this beautiful, and, and all of its fullness, all the beautiful things that the Lord has created, was created for our sakes, right? And this is a part of that joy that's set before us, right? That allows us to endure the things that we're going through on this earth today, right? Like just like Yahweh Shai said, for the joy that was set before him, it allowed him to endure the uh, the uh, the things that he had to go through. Roughly paraphrasing, but uh, you can grab that first scripture. This um second Ezra chapter six and verse fifty-four. It says that after these Adam also whom thou hast made Lord, who so like it, I'll read it over. Uh verse fifty-four saying, After these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all <laughs> and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, the Lord got a chosen people on the earth. Right, a peculiar people, right, and people that he looks that looks at and sets above all the other nations on the earth, right. And this is why the Lord is is doing the things that he uh, that he's doing, right. It's, he said this is good pleasure to give us the kingdom, right. It's just, this is all a part of the Lord's pleasure to do these things for us. But uh, you got it. Verse fifty five. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's just plain. The Lord has made the world for His uh, His chosen people's sake. Right? What does it say? What is that in uh, Deuteronomy uh, seven and six? If I'm not mistaken, I ain't read that in a minute. This um, this is Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. It says, "For thou art in holy people unto Yahweh thy power." Man, what does that word holy go into? It goes into separate. The Lord has separated us from the rest of these nations, right? You can read about that in, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy 32, right? But uh, you, you got it. It says, and it says, Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself Man. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Man. So if we above all people on the face of the earth, how much more... The earth being ours. All right. You know? The Lord said he made the world for our sakes. And we above all people that's on the face of the earth. All right. So if we above all these people, that means we're going to inherit them. Because we're going to inherit their land. And the earth is ours, so we're going to inherit these people that, that belong in these uh, particular lands that these nations are, are, are given to. Right. The scriptures say it. Uh, mm -hmm. What's it saying? Uh... That revelations you recorded earlier before the lesson, Revelations two and twenty six, I believe, it said to uh to him that overcometh the Lord will give us con. This Revelation chapter two. And um let me see. Is it twenty two or twenty six? It's around there. Yeah, twenty six. It said this Revelation chapter two and verse twenty six. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Right, so this is the power that we're going to have over the other nations in the kingdom of heaven. Right, it says we're going to rule them with the rod of iron. You read in the book of, uh, I believe it's Isaiah 60, it says, uh, that nation that shall not serve us shall, shall utterly perish. Um... I can I'm gonna I can grab that real quick. Are you on your way? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 60. I got you. This Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 12. Water. For the nation and kingdom that would not serve thee, 
shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. <laughs> right, and that's the that's that's what it is. That's the conclusion of of what how it's going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, 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 pertaining to our relationship with these other nations. We're going to rule them with the rod of iron and that nation that shall not serve us shall utterly perish. Right? So starting with our Lord, Yahweh, through, uh, down to Yahweh Shai and the, uh, and the rest of the elect, right? The rest of Israel, right? They're going, we're going to be ruling, ruling the earth, right? With pow great power and authority, right? It speaks about in Isaiah 2. It speaks about how these nations is going to come up to us and, and, and learn of our ways. Right, so this is what's going to be taking place in the kingdom of heaven. The uh, the Israel Israel is going to be ruling, right, and the rest of the nation is going to be moving in in that righteous spirit, right, because of because of the authority that's on the earth, right, and the earth is going to flourish because of that. And this is the this is what we're going to inherit, right. And this is a beautiful thing to understand, right. And it gives us hope and and um, motivation to keep pushing within this life that we're in, right. Going through all the different sufferings that we go through, understanding the end helps us have strength. Right, but uh, I got, you got, you I got, got one. Yep. Yeah, it's a uh, Sirach chapter ten, and verse four. It said, "The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and in due time he will set over one that is profitable." Mm -hmm. And we already know who is the one that's profitable. That's our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's profitable. He's gonna set everything right side up. And Lord, will we part of the elect? We will be partakers with him. Right, joint heirs like the scriptures speak about. Right, Yahweh Shai in, in the book of First Corinthians fifteen, it speaks about how he's gonna come and he's uh he's gonna come and, and subdue all power and all authority on the earth. Right? And and if we endure to the end, right, if we go through the if we go through this straight gate, right, if we suffer with Yahweh Shai like we're gonna grab uh later Lord's will, right, we're going to be joint heirs with him in this kingdom that's going to come upon this earth, right? And what does that imply that we're gonna have control over the earth. We're gonna own. The, we're gonna uh. We're gonna own the earth. We're gonna own the earth because it said the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, right? And He said in due time. But we already know who's in power, who's have control over the earth. Oh. You know that's Esau Edom through our Lord. You got you. You got. You yeah, got yeah. This is a segue right into what you said. I mean, right. Well, with what you said. This is Second Ezra six and nine. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, mm -hmm. and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, that, that's our beginning when this devil go down. Mm -hmm. So we wait on the Lord to take this devil out of rulership, to take this devil out of power. Right. But I want to jump down this Sirach, this Sirach chapter 10 and verse 8. It said, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people, from one people to another. And we're witnessing that. Happening now, you see that the man... Uh, um, the prophets are back on the highways and hedges uh, <clears throat> Telling you that your kingdom going down we, We're telling that your kingdom going down And we ushering in Yahweh Shammah Shai's kingdom That's going to last forever, man mm -hmm. Where we, where we're going to be empowered and, and have dominion uh, but, uh, but, the, well, but, but the earth was given into the hands of the wicked It was given We already know who the wicked is yep. Malachi, Malachi 1 and 4 yep. You know, Esau, Edom the, so the, the red man that the Bible speaks of, you've been found out, you know. But just just to show that the, the, the Lord is is, tra is, is translating um, the kingdom right before our eyes, man. Mm -hmm. Because we we witnessing the downfall and the uprising of a better and great one. Mm -hmm. I think it's in that same Sirach ten. It says uh, we mentioned it earlier also. Um, it said because of riches. Uh, yeah, God I just read that. Kind of slack in. Yeah, but that's what it is. I, read it I'll read again. It says, kind of Sirach chapter 10 and verse 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Right, and that's just plain, right? This devil is ruining great wickedness, right? And it's going to be, this, like the brother just said, it's going to be translated, right? But uh, you got that, Daniel? Yep. It's um, Daniel... Chapter 7 and uh, verse 12. It said, As concerning the rest. No, wait, was it? Uh, he started 12. It comes. Uh, verse 12 says, As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. Right, we in these times where these different, right, that's, those beasts represent the different kings that was ru uh, that's ruling on the earth, right? The last king that 
kingdom that we're in right now being the revised Roman Empire, right? And these beasts is going to be taken out of the way, as that scripture just said, right? And it's just in Luke 21 and 24, it speaks about the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled, right? And we're coming into that time when the Gentiles is about to be taken out of that top sp the top spot that they in, starting with Esau, Edom, right? And they're going to be put in subjection under the Israelites, like it speaks about in Psalms 147. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that. This is uh, Psalms 147. Is it 147? 149. Salakia. It says, Psalms 149 and 1, it says, Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Sing unto the Lord Yahweh a new song and his praise in the congregation of the uh, and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with heart with the timbrel and harp for the Lord Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people, right? We just going into who the Lord's people is, right? His chosen people, right? Matthew 2 and 6 also spe uh, specifically says the Lord's people is Israel, right? And along with uh, plenty, plenty of other scriptures. But it says, for the Lord Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people and bind their kings with chains and their nobles with and their nobles with fetters of iron. Links right back up with the revelation. That's, this is going to happen in the kingdom. <laughs> this is what's going to happen in the kingdom when we are in power, when, when, when everything in that rightful place, mm -hmm. when these heathens... Is in subjection, back in their in 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 their position of servitude, and we're gonna be in the in the position of power and rulership. Right, it's all it's opposite right now. What is it saying? A book of Ecclesiastes. It said he's seen servants upon horses and princes upon uh, upon the ground. Roughly paraphrasing, right? So this is the times that we living in right now with, with the princes, right? The high, the high, uh, the uh, uh. So like, yeah, the, the princes are on the ground, right? We in the lowest state. But uh, back to this Psalms 149. Oh, oh yeah, you got more. Go ahead, go ahead. It says to to bind their kings with to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord Jehovah, right? And who are the saints? You can jump to Psalms 149. Or not 149, but 147. This is uh this is Psalms 147. Is it Psalms 147? No, it's Psalms 148. It says he also executed Psalms 148 and 14. Um it says he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord Jehovah. Right, so this is what the what's coming to the Lord's saints, right? The Israelites, right? Is that rulership and dominion over all these nations and in the earth, right? And this is what we're coming into very, very soon. But you got it. This um Daniel chapter seven and verse twelve. It says, as concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory in a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Right, we coming into the end of the time of the Gentiles, right? But this kingdom that's about to come is never ever gonna end, right? Just it's like a, the scripture it, just said. It say Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation, a world without end. Yeah, you know, even though we know that two, two the, you know, the wicked and, and two thirds of our people are gonna die on the side, they're gonna be born again in the kingdom, mm -hmm. world without end. And it's never gonna be. There's not gonna be an end to the nation of Israel. Right, we're gonna live forever. Right, they're gonna be born in them righteous bodies, right? According to that, uh, according to the covenant made with 
Israel and only Israel, Jeremiah 31, 31, Hebrews 8, and, and, uh, others, and other scriptures on top of that says that the Lord is going to put his laws, statutes, and commandments in, within our inward parts, right? And we're not going to be able to go off, right? We're going to be in them incorruptible bodies, right? It's, the scriptures say that we don't know what we shall be when the Lord, uh, we don't know uh, what we shall be when the Lord comes, but we know that we shall be like him. And the Lord said that he's coming, he, uh, he's not going to meet us as a man, right? He said he's coming in power and great glory, Right, we're gonna be in them, uh, them extraterrestrial bodies with the law, statutes, and commandments put within us, so that we'll never die. And it's, it starts with those that was under the first covenant, because those other nations that they didn't have parts of that. Mm -hmm. Only the nation of Israel, right? Because that's only who the Lord is dealing with. He say He have not dealt so with any nation. Yep, Amos three and one. Yep, only you have I known. Yep. Out of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. Mm -hmm. Who is the Lord speaking about? Who is he talking about? Who is he talking to? Throughout the scriptures, from the beginning to the end, the Lord is talking about Israel. Yeah. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. Right. And um right. And we just we just we it said that we he shall punish us for our iniquities, as the brother quoted that Amos three and one, right? We we going through them, we going through them punishments right now, right? Because of our disobedience. See how by Shimiao Shai, right? And you can we if we uh, were to read down in that second Ezra seven, that's what it was. Uh, that's a part of what it was going into, right? But the Lord is brought to bring us this everlasting kingdom, right? He's, he showed that mercy unto us through our Lord Yahweh Shai and that blood that He shed uh, shed for us, right? So that we be uh, not seen, uh, so that we can be uh, clean in the eyes of how by Shimiao Shai, right? So uh, these uh, we're about to come out of this lower state that we're in today, right? Through that promise that the Lord has made with us right from the beginning. All right, it says, verse 14 again, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Mm. It said, I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of the things. He said, these great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. Yes. Let you know that those beasts were kings, kingdoms at this time, just like, uh, just like today. The beast Esau Edom, he's a, a, a he's in rulership, he's in power, he's in the power seat right now. It says, "But the saints Ooh. of the Most High shall take the kingdom <laughs> and possess the kingdom forever, even forever Man. and ever." Man, so the, the Lord is going to have His saints. We just went over who the saints was. Take the kingdom and possess it forever, forever, even forever and ever. Right? We're gonna have the earth. In the palm of our hands, right? We're gonna rule it in righteousness, right? And the people and the earth is going to rejoice, right? It says when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn, but when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Roughly paraphrasing uh prop the book of Proverbs, right? So it's gonna be it's gonna be paradise in the kingdom, right? Under this under this new rulership that's gonna take place. Mm -hmm. But uh that was it on that, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, I'm going to jump to this uh, Revelations 5 This is Revelations 5 and 9 It says And they sung a new song saying Thou art worthy to take the book And to open the seals there Speaking of our Lord Yahweh Shai When he went up to the spiritual realm Right <clears throat> It says uh, After he was slain It says For thou was slain And hast redeemed us to the most high By thy blood Out of every kindred And tongue And people And nation Right, and it's not talking about all the other nations. We just went through how the nations in the kingdom is going to be subject sub, under subjection unto us. Right, speaking about those that was redeemed unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, those that was in that bad estate with the Lord, but was reconciled unto Him. Right, it speaks about in uh, Galatians uh, four and five. Right, the Lord has redeemed those that was under the law. Right, and we are the ones that received the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai. It's Deuteronomy four and five. Right, so. This is who is speaking about is us, right? The children of Israel, right? It says, verse 10, it says, I'll reread a little bit in verse 9. It says, and hast redeemed us to the most high by thy blood 
out of every who's the Lord's blood shed for? That's Acts 5 and 30, right? The Lord died for us, right? That's that explains that math that uh explains that Matthew uh 1 and 21, right? He shall save his people from their sins, right? But it says, For thou hast was slain and hast redeemed us to the most high by thy blood out of every kindred, every tongue, and people and nation. Right, because we were scattered amongst those places. That's a part of the curses that befell us, befell us for our disobedience. Deuteronomy twenty-eight, verse fifteen on down. But it says, "Those." Uh, it says, "And has made us unto our our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth." Right. So it just clearly shows that we are the ones whose the earth is going to uh, be in the hands of in the kingdom of heaven. Right. We will own the world. Right, it says that the world, uh, the title of this lesson, the world is for us. But uh, that's all I wanted to grab on that. But uh, I, uh, you want to grab Revelations two twenty one and seven? This is uh, Revelation chapter twenty one and verse seven. Just like I should just grab it. Nah, you good, bro? It says, "He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son." Right, so this is the destiny for those the elect, right? They're going to inherit all things. But first we have to go through this straight gate that we're going through right now, right? It speaks about in uh in second in, in uh Matthew seven, right? You can uh, it's also speak about in uh second Ezra seven. It speaks about that path. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it, I'm here. Uh this is second Ezra seven. It's like was you about to say something? Oh, you good. This is second Ezra seven and seven. It says or six, it says, there is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. That, and speaking of the kingdom of heaven, it says, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there, there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water so small that there could one but one man go go there at once right and this is the path that we need to take to get to the kingdom of heaven right to get to these different wonderful things that we've been speaking about that's going through the sheepfold like the scripture says man you got to go through the sheepfold you say you climb up any other way you're a thief and a robber right you know so you got to go through the, the, the steps that the lord has set to get to the kingdom you know, but I got a precept if you got more. It's um Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So we got to go through the dangers to come like the scripture says. It's Israel's portion. So we got to go through these things in order to inherit all things. Mm -hmm. We got to go through these things and keep the faith. Right. Yep. Be strong, fight that and good fight of faith. Yep. Overcome, mm -hmm. like those precepts that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord say, overcome, he's going to give us power to rule over the, over the nations with a rod of iron. He said, he that overcome, he shall inherit all things. Mm -hmm. And this is all under our Lord. Right. It, said, it said, them that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Showing this ain't no cakewalk, right? You're not, the Lord's just not going to rap. People be talking about the rapture. So like you. And how they're just going to be taken out of the earth and going to the kingdom of heaven with with no... And, and escape the, 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 the trouble that's coming upon the earth. Mm -mm, the Lord said we, we got to go through this. Mm -hmm. How you finna escape something that's written that we got to go through this, though? Right. You finna just bypass what the Lord said, though. No. Like, no. You scripture speak about Jacob's trouble, right? We're we going to have to go through these different things, right? It's Daniel 12 and 1. It says it's going to be a time on the earth like no other. But what's the elect going to do? They're going to keep the faith. They're going to endure. They're going to overcome through the faith, uh, uh, through that faith that Yahweh Shem Yahshua gave them. If Michael shall stand up for thy people, he's, he's, he's going to, he's going to, I got to get it. Let me get it. This song, um, this is Daniel. 12. 12. Oh, 12. This is uh, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, right? The Israelites, the, the elect. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. 
Mm-hmm. And the Israelites are written in the book. But starting with the elect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, those are the ones that's going to be delivered. That's going to be protected. When mm-hmm. when these times, when things get hard and bad. Mm-hmm. The Keep Lord it. is going to protect his elect. Right. He's going to have care for his elect. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're praying and hoping to be. Mm-hmm. Right? Because we got a glimpse of the kingdom now. You know, about him uh, in the word. You know, uh, keep uh, putting these words in us and still these words in us within these wicked bodies. Mm-hmm. We're trying to walk uprightly in the sight of the Lord. You know, being amongst the brothers, it's, 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 man, it's, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of, man. We can't take it lightly. Speaking to myself first and foremost, you know. This is a great thing that we're a part of, man. Right. To be able to inherit all things, man. <laughs> Something that we imagine in the world. Right, we in the running for that. And the Lord gave us the spirit to be able to imagine these things and have hope in them. We can't take these things lightly. He, and he unlocked the code to, 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 to show us within the precept that, that, that this is talking about us. We're going to be partakers of that. And we got to believe it. The scripture says true. These words are faithful and true. We have to believe it and have faith. If we continue to do what the Lord is saying, hey, that, hey, it ain't going to fail, man. It's not going to fail. But you, you got what you got. Con, this is uh, Second Ezra 7 and uh, 9. It says, If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive his in- this inheritance? So that's what it is, right? We have to go through this danger that's set before this kingdom, right? But the Lord is going to give us that strength to do it, right? He's going to, uh, we, we reading Judges right now, speaks about how the, the spirit came mightily upon Samson at certain 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 moments, right? Scriptures speak about how the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard when the enemy shall come in like a flood, roughly paraphrasing, right? The Lord is going to be fighting for for us and uh, for the elect in these days, right? Those that have that faith in him, who believe that they can be, uh, who put their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? The the remnant is gonna be trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in these times, like a piece about in uh in Isaiah ten and uh ten and twenty. Right? They're gonna put they're gonna lean upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai when when things get rough. And the Lord's gonna deliver them. We just right. gotta make it through. Because uh, the scriptures uh, just to dying back off what I said and you know and you because um the scriptures say let no man uh let no man take thy crown. Showing that we already have a glimpse of the kingdom, if we if, we if we already holding the crown with this because of this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding that we have, mm-hmm. if we continue in the faith, continue <laughs> in doing these things, and hey, we gonna we gonna inherit those things, man. Yep. Right. You know, endurance, right? It's in second in the second Ezra two, it speaks about um, those that stood stiffly for the for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right, those are the ones that received those crowns. From uh from from Yahweh Shai, right? So we have to we have to we have to fight we have to fight for uh for these things that we talking about. Right, right? the, the world, world is it's like no, it's like it. I was gonna say the world is our the world is for us, but we we it's not just gonna be given to us. You not there's no value in something that's just given to you, right? So we got the Lord making us fight for it, and that's what we are gonna do. Lord willing until the end. We gotta work. We gotta we gotta labor to enter to that rest. Yep. We gotta put the work in. Mm-hmm. But just finishing this out, it says, it says, if this verse nine and second Ezra seven, if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Right. So this is the rite of passage that Israel has to go through to get these wonderful, wonderful things. That's to come, right? All we got to do is keep the faith, right? We receive that victory through our faith, right? Well, that's all I have. Come on. Lord willing, this video is edifying. We want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. To Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hakodash. Again, we give double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone. We say Shalom to the whole elect out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity, striving their best to do us right in the eyes of the Lord. Until our next lesson, Shalom. Shalom.